right, good afternoon. Uh, welcome. The Secretary General will make some remarks and then I'll do the briefing right after that. Gaza is becoming a graveyard for children. Hundreds of girls and boys are reportedly being killed or injured every day. More journalists have reportedly been killed over a four-week period than in any conflict in at least three decades. More United Nations aid workers have been killed than in any comparable period in the history of our organization. I salute all those who continue their life-saving work despite the overwhelming challenges and risks. The way forward is clear. A humanitarian ceasefire now. All parties respecting all their obligations under international humanitarian law now. This means the unconditional release of the hostages in Gaza now. Nothing can justify the deliberate torture, killing, injuring, and kidnapping of civilians. The protection of civilians must be paramount. I'm deeply concerned about clear violations of international humanitarian law that we are witnessing. Let me be clear. No party to an armed conflict is above international humanitarian law. Let us also not forget the importance of addressing the risks of the conflict spilling over to the wider region. We are already witnessing a spiral of escalation from Lebanon and Syria to Iraq and Yemen. That escalation must stop. Cool heads and diplomatic efforts must prevail. Hateful rhetoric and provocative actions must cease. Today, the United Nations and our partners are launching a 1.2 billion US dollars humanitarian appeal to help 2.7 million people. That's the entire population of the Gaza Strip and of a million Palestinians in the West Bank, including East Jerusalem. Some life-saving aid is getting into Gaza from Egypt through the Rafah crossing. But the trickle of assistance does not meet the ocean of need. And let's be clear, the Rafa crossing alone does not have the capacity to process eight trucks at the scale required. Thank you.